back here at Miss Dell's house right now at our bar and restaurant here. The weather's looking incredible. Thank you, Miss Dell. Thank you, Mitchell. Your coffee's coming up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, we got bright sun. It's looking great for the next three days. Light winds. Everything's shaping up perfectly for us. Oh yeah, it's all going according to plan. <laughs> yeah. Took a short break while the weather wasn't in our favor. Caught a couple tarpon. Now we're back to finish the mission. <laughs> just got back out here. The weather, it looks a lot different than it did the first time we were out here right now. A lot less chop, clear water. Looks like perfect permit conditions. Fingers crossed. at it twice. Oh, oh my God, that was a great shot. Pretty nice fish. Oh. This fly is done. Dude, they're, they were swimming so chill. Dude, they were. Sh yep. Yo, yes. Hold two, on, hold two, on. There's two. There's two. One to the right. One to the right. Well, those are the same fish. Fly change. Fly change. Fly change. In case they come back. Yeah. Yo, I don't think they like anything bright. They want. Big like big no big red, big no orange. Coming right here, right here, Ted. Big, big single. Right there. In the waves. Going left. I lost it. He's short. He's short. There, I see him. Spooked oh, on it! What? Yo! F oh my god, dude. Dude, it's like, yo, should I be stopping it when they're on it like that? I mean, that's what I did. I stopped it, and then he looked, it looked like he got a little uninterested, picked it up again, he looked at it again, and then decided, no. Dude, yo, this is the sickest fishing. Have you fished well, something like this? I was, this? Trying, I was like, yo, this is last time. I was like, I was like, yo, these boys need to see the show, and, and we've had more shots out here today than we had the entire time. Weather matters. Some of my best fish have been caught after days of nothing. 
and then it happens when you least expect it. That's why we keep the faith. Florida con, your rum of Nicaragua. Yeah, baby. The weather really calmed down, just enough wind, just enough waves that the water had that perfect amount of chop to, so you can approach the permit when they're feeding without spooking them off. Because when it's glass, it can be really tough. That fish is coming right towards you. Oh, he just tailed up. Oh, dude. Still, even though the weather was right, we were seeing fish, we were getting all the shots we wanted. It was all coming together, but we still hadn't caught a fish. Dude, he turned, he was swimming through this shit sideways. Dude. Yeah. Like, sideways. literally on his side. Yep. See this other fish, dude? Yep. See this fish coming? There's three fish. Followed it for a minute. Four. It was calm enough that we could actually find tails, see feeding fish, and when the sun was high, see fish cruising around, which is stuff we didn't see at all on our first portion of the trip. We couldn't see anything pretty much except for tails. There's perms all over. There are perms all over. Yo, they're in the white, in the yellow. Yep. Oh, he's in town. He's on. Nope. Right again. There's one on the left. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. he's looking at it. There's three of them. Are they on your fly? Just fish it. I see him now, yep. Right in your way. Nice shot, nice shot. Dude, I saw him spook on your fly. There was permit in almost every spot that we looked, and I got shots at countless fish. I made all the mistakes. You learn through trial and error. People can tell you what to do, but you really don't understand until you go through that learning process yourself. Hey. How are you, Rasta? I'm good, my brother. Oh, yeah. I need something to smoke. You don't have me to give me a one for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I one for you. OK, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When are you coming back, man? I'll be back again. <laughs> you know, I'll see you again. Yeah, right? I want you to go there when I leave there when you come back. Yeah, we found a bunch of fish up there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, lots good. of fish. Something, man. Bye, Rasta. Bye, Rasta. Bye, Rasta. Good. good. <laughs> the plot thickens. Again. <laughs> Third boat that's broken down that we're on right now. Third different boat. Battery's dead. Yeah, see, I told you. Cranked on it too long. Harder, nation. <laughs> huh? It's pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, thank you. Yo, James, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we're saved again. We just got a jump. And we're back in the game. They're more of an honest fish than people give them credit for. People say like, oh, permit, 
don't eat, permit, do, do this, do that. I, if you get the permit when they're really feeding and present it the right way, you can get them. Here, we rolled up to the flat. We, we got out of the boat and I was starting to walk up and Nation's like, hang on, Will, let's chill for a minute over by these mangroves. We pretty much turned around after that and started walking and we walked about 10 to 20 feet and saw a tail and walked over, took one cast that was pretty far, really far outside. I was just kind of just getting, kind of getting ready still. And then took my second shot and it was still pretty far. It was like, I wasn't sure about it. So I just let the fly sit because the fish was coming over. It's a crab that just always rides hook up and the fish came over. I pretty much bumped it away from its nose and it just took a 90 degree turn and started putting its tail up. And I was like, it's game on. pretty crazy. Nation and I were running all over the place. Lots of coral heads around, so I was trying to keep my rod high in the air. Thank God I had 20 pound tippet. I had to reef on that fish. That there is. How are you feeling, bro, after that? <laughs> My arm's a little tired. <laughs> I'm feeling, whew, I'm feeling high from that permit right now. Sheesh. I'm feeling high from that permit, baby. Woo! Woke up super early in the dark, packed up my tent, packed up all my stuff, and went to check out this spot. I stripped out some line and waited up and got right in position to cast this fish. There was a big tailing fish that I saw at first, and as I was approaching that big tailor, a school of smaller permits swam between us. So in the middle of my cast, I kind of just laid it down and dropped the fly. Made a couple strips and at first I couldn't really feel the eat. It felt like I almost hooked bottom and then it started swimming at me. But as I started to pick up slack, I lifted my rod and the fish was on. The permit. The permit. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Another permit on the fly. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that crab in now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go. Sunrise permit on the fly, baby. Feel pretty dang good. Another smaller fish, but still pretty stuck. Don't really care.
Early bird gets the worm, baby. Early bird gets the worm. <laughs> I was just asking, I was like, did he get up at four? Feels so good to get a fish on the very last day. All the hard work and time we've spent on this flats is starting to pay off. We're figuring out all these little spots that we wouldn't have known unless we simply just put in our time. And on top of that, we finally got the weather window. And it's just crazy how much the weather and the tides matter for permit. So we made our way out onto the rock bar and we're just waiting quietly. And I saw a couple of tails just kind of moving up from the deeper water onto the flat. So I got my rod ready, stripped out some line. I made a couple casts and one of them, I snagged some grass. So I thought it was a fish. I mean, that fly was right where it needed to be. I thought it was a fish, stripped it, it was grass. Luckily the fish didn't spook, shook off the grass and my next cast landed right on the dinner plate in front of the fish, like almost on its head. Got him. Permit. And before I could even strip the fly, I think the fish ate it. And as soon as I made that first or second strip, it was on. It was fighting hard. I'm really glad I was fishing 20 pound tippet, especially with all those rocks around. It's a big one. We gotta get this fish out of these rocks. Dude, that was, cast was right on the dinner plate, right in front of the fish's face. Literally landed it right on him, he ate it. Dude, he's fighting so hard. Let's go, nation. Big permit. He's getting tired, I can tell. Freaking dreams do come true. A nice tailing permit on the flat. That fish was the fish that I came here to get. Couldn't be more excited. And just to be in a place like Nicaragua in a remote island off the coast, you know, finding some solitude, some peace in the tropics with amazing people. Couldn't have been luckier to have Nation with me for this. Otherwise, that wouldn't have happened. Pretty cool to be down here fishing with a bunch of guys that we all now would consider our friends. We're, we're learning this fishery together for permit right now, and it's really fun to do that with the guys that live down here that are gonna be fishing with us for hopefully years to come. So it's been awesome. Now that this fishery is on the map, 
it is imperative that it stays intact for years to come. Many saltwater flats are covered in coral, which can be permanently damaged by foot traffic. After exploring the area, we recognize that wade fishing is unsustainable and alternative practices must be put in place if this fishery continues to see angling pressure. Using a push pole in conjunction with a stand-up paddleboard or panga can be very effective in pursuing flat species with a fly rod and minimizes our impact on the flats. It is our responsibility to take care of the fisheries we visit as many of our favorite spots are a part of delicate ecosystems. Now grab your fly rod, get outside, and go on an adventure with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.